Meetings are an essential part of any business, but if they're not managed properly, they can become long, inefficient and unproductive. To ensure that your meetings are effective, it's important to create an agenda that outlines the purpose, discussion items and key decisions that need to be made. The agenda for a meeting serves as a guide for your team and should inform them of what needs to be accomplished during the session. It should provide an outline for how to best prepare for the meeting, explain the motive for the gathering, assign tasks to attendees and set out a period of time for each topic. A well-crafted agenda will help ensure the meeting is productive and keeps the team focused. Studies have shown that there is not always a correlation between having an agenda and how people in attendance rate the overall quality of the meeting. It's not the agenda itself that matters, but instead the significance and relevance of the items included and how the person in charge of the meeting steers the discussion of these points. When drawing up a meeting agenda, it's essential to ensure that it provides all the necessary information for the participants. This should include the purpose of the gathering, the topics to be discussed and any key decisions that have to be taken. Additionally, the agenda should supply sufficient background knowledge that the team can become familiar with the subject before the meeting commences. Here are 11 tips for creating an effective meeting agenda. First, identify the objective of the meeting. Prior to the meeting, if you're asked for the reason for the gathering, the objective should answer that question. In order for the meeting to be productive and successful, it is important for the meeting participants to be aware of the objectives and desired results beforehand, so as not to waste anyone's time. It is essential that the objectives and agenda are set before the meeting so that everyone doesn't end up feeling more frustrated, thinking that the same result could have been achieved through an email instead. The objective will provide attendees with insight into what's expected, so they're not taken by surprise and can join the meeting prepared to discuss particular items. Prior to establishing the objective, first determine what kind of meeting is taking place. The meeting could be to plan, solve a problem, brainstorm, make a decision, or build morale or a team. Then refine the purpose further by asking yourself questions such as Is the aim of the meeting to come to an agreement or make a decision? If so, what is the final outcome needed? Do you need to brainstorm ideas or objectives? If so, what is the subject? Do you need to ask the team about their progress? Is the team required to design a course of action regarding a particular issue? Are you formulating strategies or attempting to arrive at a solution? After answering these questions, you should be able to write the objective or several objectives for the meeting. To make sure you fully understand what it is, consider what you would like to have achieved once the meeting has concluded. Include the objective at the start of the agenda and in the meeting invitation. Two, link to any required or relevant pre-reading in the agenda. Give all invitees a copy of the meeting's agenda with enough lead time so that everyone can go over any required material and come up with their initial thoughts ahead of time. This might include presentation decks, supplementary information and prior decisions. This will ensure there are no lengthy preambles and that the meeting can proceed efficiently. 3. Ask for input. As the agenda is being developed, it's important to request input from the participants for several reasons. Firstly, since meetings are fundamentally a group activity, it is only suitable to include other people's opinions. Second, when attendees are encouraged to express their thoughts, they tend to have more buy-in, leading to more commitment and active participation in the meeting. However, ultimately the decision is up to you about what will be on the meeting agenda, as the items align with the meeting objective. Four, write agenda items for action. Instead of putting together an agenda that is just a long list of items to discuss, think about the agenda as a group of questions to be answered. Rather than simply providing subjects as the basis for the meeting, populating the agenda with questions instead can bring about a shift in the way people think and approach things. This gives the meeting a more strategic nature as the participants will consider what a gender item truly means and the ultimate purpose of the meeting. Additionally, this approach encourages the attendees to be more purposeful. By asking questions, it's easier to decide who should be invited because those people are essential in reaching solutions. Furthermore, you know when the meeting should be ended as it is when the questions have been addressed to everyone's satisfaction. For example, instead of the topic budget issues, ask the question, how will we reduce our expenses by 100K by the end of this financial year? Instead of the topic customer process improvement, ask the question, how can we improve response time to customers by 25%? If the topic is leader succession, ask the question, where are we vulnerable from a leadership turnover perspective and how might we address these vulnerabilities? If the topic is strategic planning, ask the question, what is the key market threat we need to be aware of? How could it affect us and what can we do about it? For miscellaneous updates, instead ask, what key pieces of information do each of you have to share or need from one another? 
The topic of discussion should be thought provoking, yet not so far fetched that participants do not take them seriously and end up feeling discouraged. Five, identify the purpose or role of attendees for each agenda item. It can be difficult for attendees to make meaningful contributions if they're unsure of their role in the discussion, such as if they should just be listening, giving their opinion, or being part of decision making. If individuals think they have a say in the decision making, when in actuality you just want their input, everyone is likely to be disappointed by the end of the meeting. To prevent this confusion, it's better to distribute this sort of information in the agenda beforehand. If the goal of an agenda item is to reach a decision, make sure to state how and by who the decision will be made in the agenda. Six, strategically prioritise items. Studies of meetings have revealed that whatever items are first on the agenda gets the most energy, even if it's not the most important issue. This suggests that the most crucial matters should go at the start of the meeting. Not only does this ensure that the main problems are addressed, but it also gets the participants engaged and underscores the purpose of the meeting. While it's okay to kick off the meeting with a few minutes of updates, afterwards focused on the toughest, most pertinent and troublesome matters. Here are some suggestions for the order of agenda items. Begin with a topic that is brief, easy to deal with, and you expect the participants to receive positively. Put items requiring discussion and active input first, because once people have sat quietly in listening mode, it's hard to make the switch to contributing mode. Put the most important item second and use the first item to warm participants up. Schedule items of great interest to everyone for the lull in the meeting that seems to come 15 to 20 minutes after it starts. Put routine matters and items you want to be dealt with briefly towards the end. Make the final topic one that gives members a sense of unity or achieves a positive outcome. Seven, assign a time for each item. Having an estimate of the time needed for each agenda item serves two functions. Firstly, it encourages you to estimate the amount of time it will take to go through the steps of bringing up the subject, answering questions, dealing with different points of view, developing potential solutions, and making a plan of action after the discussion and decision are made. Be aware that the time taken is often underestimated. Secondly, the estimated time can help attendees to either adjust their comments to fit the time frame or suggest that extra time may be necessary. The purpose of setting the time is not to end the conversation once the time has passed, which causes bad decisions to be made, but to keep the meeting moving along efficiently and stay on track. 8. Assign a facilitator for each item. For each agenda item, there may be a different individual who is in charge of leading the dialogue. The person could be giving more information regarding the subject, clarifying the data, or may have relevant expertise. Knowing who is in charge of each agenda item ahead of time, make sure that anyone who is responsible for guiding an item of the agenda is aware of it and can prepare accordingly. 9. Assign a process for each item. The process identifies the steps through which the participants will move together to complete the discussion or make a decision. Agreeing on a process significantly increases meeting effectiveness. Establishing a process can make discussions or decision making substantially more productive. Without a process in place, participants will get involved in the discussion according to their own tactics. This can lead to confusion, with some trying to identify the issue, others questioning why it's even on the agenda, and some others already proposing solutions. Therefore, the method for managing an agenda item should be specified on the agenda. 10. Make the first agenda item to check and modify the agenda. Even though you and your colleagues have already decided on the agenda for the meeting ahead of time, take a moment to determine if any modifications need to be made in light of recent occurrences since then. By checking at the beginning of the meeting, you will increase the chance that the team will use its meeting time most effectively in light of any relevant developments. 11. Make the last agenda item continuous improvement of your meeting. If this is a regular meeting, a straightforward continuous improvement can be achieved by asking two questions of the meeting. What accomplishments were made? What do we hope to change for the next gathering? Investing a few minutes will help the meeting to become more efficient, enhance collaboration and improve attendee satisfaction. Ask these questions of the participants. Did the agenda get distributed early enough for everyone to prepare? Did the participants prepare for their meeting adequately? Was enough time allotted for each agenda item? How well was time allocated for decision making and discussion? Did the meeting stay on track? How good was the process for each agenda item? Here is an example of an effective agenda from the Harvard Business Review. It includes the topic with a time, purpose and leader, preparation required and the proposed process. Why is the meeting agenda so important? Writing the agenda for a meeting is a good way to tell whether or not it's really necessary. If you decide that all the topics on the agenda can be discussed without everyone being present, you can skip the meeting and get your message across in an email that saves time. 
Furthermore, sharing the agenda and objective of the meeting with attendees ensures everyone understands why they are attending and provides a shared sense of purpose. Additional reasons to have an agenda include it allows everyone to prepare, it shows you're mindful of the importance of everyone's time, it sets clear expectations of what will and won't be discussed, it keeps the meeting on track, an agenda provides a clear purpose and gives the meeting structure, and you can use the agenda to capture related information and action items arising from the meeting. Writing effective meeting agendas is a great way to ensure that participants are productive and engaged in every meeting. It is important to set clear goals, create an agenda that is easy to follow, and assign tasks to the right people to ensure that everyone is on the same page. By following these tips, you can ensure that your meetings are well-structured, productive, and effective.